let's say the university claims that the average exam grades are more than let's just say yeah, make this because I'd like to do the two I like to do the one tail test because it's more complicated yeah okay uh, let's say is more than more than 73 percent that's it okay that's the claim they're making so is there evidence to support their claim okay so well to find evidence you know a claim that's been made an extraordinary claim needs extraordinary evidence okay so let's see the evidence allows us to say something the evidence allows us when we reject allows us to infer okay rejection okay is the inference being made if we don't reject there's no inference being made and this is our inferential tests okay so the rejection is the inference okay so you can actually see in this situation here if we reject, if we reject, okay, we're saying that the average is greater than 73, okay? But we're saying that the average is greater than 73 based on the evidence, because the evidence is allowing us to reject, is allowing us to infer that. So actually this value here, this hypothesis here, is a hypothesis that would test the claim. It's, it's testing to see whether, it's, whether the evidence supports the claim being made. Okay? That's one way to do it. Another thing that could be asked, yeah, is is there evidence to refute to refute the claim made by the university? University, okay? Okay. Well, let's think about that here. So refuting the claim, okay? If we're gonna refute the claim, okay, well, refuting the claim means that we need to find evidence against this okay against the more than 73 percent okay so in this situation here this here would be that if we can move away from the null to the alternative well then this suggests that the average is less than 73 percent which is something that refutes the claim being made by the university okay and then finally okay we could ask the question, yeah, okay, uh, is there evidence to suggest that that the average of the population is different to 73%, okay, the alternative here. But I think these two scenarios here and here are the more interesting, and they allow us to bring in this concept of supporting and refuting evidence. The evidence, yeah, is where we can actually make the inference, okay. Uh, I think that this is, uh, this sort of covers, I think, a little bit more in, in a little bit more detail, yeah, okay, probably the complexities of actually setting up a hypothesis. But let's just say from a default default position okay from a default position okay uh, the alternative is always what you're trying to prove okay well the alternative is what you can prove if that makes sense yeah that's actually more important actually to say that the alternative hypothesis is where you can move to based on the evidence the alternative hypothesis is what you can infer based on the evidence but only if you reject okay now the question is whether you need evidence to support a claim or whether you need evidence to refute a claim. Okay? Well it depends on what the claim is actually saying. Okay? As you can see in this situation, if the claim is saying more than 73%, okay, well here's 73 is the is the demarcation point. Okay? It's this sort of cut-off point on the distribution. It's the cut-off point with respect to a continuum. Okay, uh, so we have three possibilities with respect to a hypothesis. Okay, okay. in this case, the claim is more than seventy-three percent. Is there evidence to support this claim? To support it, this is the scenario here. Okay, is there evidence to refute it? If it's, we're talking about refuting the claim, okay, down here, refuting this would refute the claim. Okay, guys, once again, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert uh, with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this particular example in, in, in relation to how to define a hypothesis, uh, I hope that was helpful. Just maybe just one thing to keep in mind is that we don't have to test to see whether there's evidence to suggest whether a sample has been taken from a particular population with a particular value. Okay? Uh, we could test whether there's differences between samples, whether one sample uh, suggests that the population average from where it was being drawn is greater than or is less than another population another population value, or whether there's no difference between the populations that the samples have been been drawn from. But I think this this example here is a nice is 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 let's say the base case, yeah, okay? rather than complicating it with more examples, more samples. Uh, okay, guys, once again, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. I hope that this video was uh, 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 helpful, uh, and uh, thank you for watching. Okay.
拜拜。